Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm talking power packs. Oh, we've got this little beauty, which I'm going to test and try. Are these small lithium chargers, battery boosters, any good uh, as far as jump starting a dead car? I've always used my old faithful power pack. Um, this cost me about 335 quid. Um, it comes with a mains charger on it, but it's a beast. 700 amps of starting power. You can clip it onto a car or a van and crank it over. If the car's got a problem and it's cranking, da -da 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 -da, this will carry on cranking for a, a good few, 15 minutes. You know, you can mess about. Um, it's a good piece of kit, really good. But is this up to the job? Let's get that out of the way and see what we get in the box. So we're opening it up. This is the top don, 1200, uh, yeah, Jump Surge 1200. It comes in at about £85. Um, what I really wanted, though, was something small, something a bit more manageable, something quick. I've seen them being used by other people and they look pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Um, it comes there looking a nice case. It's charged through USB, so you could probably even leave this connected in the boot of your car if you've got a little USB charger. Uh, just as a backup, in case you leave your lights on or something. And uh, wow, whoops chucking it about that's the actual piece of kit there feels nice it's got a little bit of weight to it weatherproof casing it's droppable you you've got like a rubberized coated around it there yeah that feels nice we've got the bit on the top we pop off usb charger so it's got a i think it's a 15 or an 18 watt charger for your usb on it a 18 watt usb charger wowzers that's like a, a proper iPhone uh, charger, the big one. So it's, it's kicking ass, that is. It's charged through the side. Um, USB-C there to charge it up. We've also got um, another DC output there, the round socket for charging torches and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty cool. So they feel really nice. It's... I'm really impressed with this Top Don stuff. It, it's finished off really, really well. We've also got on here a torch. So if we press the button on the front there, it tells us what power we've got there. Four stars, 100%. Um, we press and hold it. Bingo. We've got a light coming on the front. Press it again. It goes for a fast flash. Press it again. Slow flash. Handy handy again in the boot of the car if you need a torch and all that kind of business if you've got issues something that, that's uh you've got a little bit of safety attached to it as well right let's see what else we get and we've got these weird looking things uh, uh, there we go so this little gizmo here this is your jump starting leads and it's got like a safety uh, device on it here, which is for reverse polarity, uh, amongst other things. So let's shove that in there and we get a little red light coming on. So that now looks like it's pretty ready to try and start a car. And guess what? As it happens, I've got a dead one down the garden. Let's go give it a go. See what happens. <laughs> As if by magic. In here, we've just got... Um, a little USB charging lead there, um, which I've got loads of around the house, so I don't need to worry too much about that. And just some little destructions. Let's see if we can get this car started down the garden with it. See if it's any good. <laughs> so down the garden, look. Line dormant. <laughs> Bless the old girl. Is our little 107. It's been sat around again for, oh, I don't know, two months or more since I made the last video on it. Uh, let's get it started. As you can see, it's well frosted over. It's been a Baltic night. This is stone dead. The remote doesn't work. Nothing on the dashboard, no lights or anything. <sighs> Look 
look at it, it's been stood again. I've got a bit of the old uh, mank on the steering wheel. Bless the old girl. But yeah, turn the key, look. Nothing going on. It is stone dead. Absolutely dead as a doornail. So let's get the bonnet up. Let's have a look at this gizmo. So we're connected up there, we've got a light on there. Let's just connect these to the battery and see what happens. Let me bring you around over here so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Right then, so red, positive. Let's clip that on there. This gizmo has got anti-surge, so when we put it on, there's not gonna be no spike. So if you get spikes when you're connecting, if you're getting sparks and stuff, it can spaz the ECUs and cause all kinds of problems. We don't want any of that going on. So if you jump starting from another car, you'll stand the risk of spiking and getting, a, uh, getting an issue. So that one's on good and tight. That one's on good and tight. It says on here, correct. So that's good. If you reverse polarity, I don't know if it'll pick this up because this is pretty dead. Let's just see if it's really dead. It won't tell you that. Oh, there you go. Reverse polarity. So you can't even get that wrong. It's got the tech in it. It's got the stuff to tell you what's right and what's wrong, which is always good. So that's saying correct. It's saying we're correct. Let's just turn it, make sure we're turned on. There we go, we're powered up. There we go, now we've got it. We've got a flashing green light there, which is good. We press the boost button. Once it goes solid green, we can start the car. Let's give it a go. That got some kick, didn't it? That just fired straight away. <laughs> I'm amazed at that, to be fair. That worked, worked really, really well. Still showing 100% on there. Oh, that was amazing. That was stone dead. Absolutely dead as a doornail. No, I'm going to switch it off. Because I'm sure that this won't have come back to life. I'm going to go and get the battery tester. I'm going to put the tester on the battery and just see what state it's at. Let's see, just disconnect this a second. Get rid of that. Let's go grab the battery tester. Right, so we've got the battery tester. Let's just clip it on here and see what's what. This battery is a 440 amp EN battery. So let's have a look. Get a decent connection on there with that. It's that dead, I can't, <laughs> that's how bad it is. The battery is that flat, I can't even get a reading off the uh, off the battery at all. It's totally flat, totally stone dead. Okay, let's have a little bit of a play with this then. Let's connect this tester up to the, the battery. This, let's connect this uh, jump start up to the battery as well. Okay, we're on that. Let's press the boost button. There we go. Now we're powered up. Look, the test is charging. If I test this now, it's going to pretty much tell us probably what's going on inside here and how, how many amps we've got. Let's just see what happens. It might do, but it's... Um, oh, well, actually, it won't do because it's, not, it's going through all this gubbins, isn't it? So that's not going to work. Let's just have a laugh and see what happens. Uh, battery test enter. Regular flooded. Uh, let's go for um, 
Yeah, since I... No, I'm good at it. Oh, it's just switched off. It's just kicked off because it doesn't last that long. It only stays in for 20 seconds once you've... Uh, you've, got to, you've got to crank the car 20 seconds after you've, you've flipped it up. Right, let's try it again then. Let's get it started. So this... This is stone dead, absolutely flat as a pancake. So everything is going through this little gadget here. That's amazing. Again, one reason this is going dead so much is it's got the tracker on it still from the insurance. Um, could probably take that off now, but uh, well, we don't get around to it. Connected back to test up there. See what the voltage is on this. So it's charging nicely at 14 volts. So the alternator is charging lovely. The battery itself, though, this one is going to take some real bringing back to life. Which just shows how strong that is because it didn't turn it over slowly, it you know whisked it over at a good rate. It's still showing 100% on there. It's not hot, there's no heat there at all. So it's, uh, it doesn't feel like it's stressed it or strained. It should be, this is only a one litre engine, it's only small. That is impressive though, that is impressive. Let's have a little bit of fun with this. Um, Let's just see if we've got any charge back in the battery. I'm going to see how many times I can start it. I think this is still going to be completely dead. Let's have a look. Yeah, not a dicky bird. Not a dicky bird. So we're still running on a completely dead flat battery. Let's connect this up again. And let's see how many times we can... Uh... Well... Let's go for, well, let's just try, let's just see how many times we can start it without, uh, without it giving us any, any issues. Let's go for it. Connect that up to there again. Leads are connected. We're all good there. Press the boost button. Oh, I've reached my limit, look. It won't let me fire it up anymore. It knows how many times we've tried to start it. And uh, yeah, it's put, a, it's put a dampener on it. So we're gonna have to wait now till this uh, stops flashing in a funny manner. Maybe if I disconnect it, let's try again. Let's try disconnecting it. Reconnecting it. How clever is it? Oh, here, I'll just let this go again now then. Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've just knocked it down to 75% now. So we've had a good few starts off that. We've had that's about 13 starts and we're down to 75%. It's not doing bad. Still feels good. 
pop it off. Really, really impressed. Really impressed with that. What a cracking bit of kit. The 107 lives to fight another day. <laughs> we'll let that charge up a bit. Oh, well, there we have it. Impressive, that is. This is a 1200 amp unit. You can get bigger ones if you want to go bigger. This should start a six litre diesel engine, they say. Well, um, yeah, I'll take the word for it because I ain't got a six litre diesel engine. Um, <laughs> but the way it started that car up, from a completely stone dead battery and that's the worst one is when the battery is completely flat it's a real tough job for a booster to start those up um and it did that no problem at all so that is impressive that is an impressive bit of kit really really handy the size of it pop that in the boot of your car leave it on a usb charger to keep it tip topped up to uh yeah up to top performance on there or just bring it in just keep your on the uh the gauge is good and put that in your glove box you know it's that small it's not a big unit um pop it in the glove box and it's there if somebody you know friend family anybody can you go and give me a jump start you can use that and you haven't got to worry about cross crossing leads blowing alternators and spiking your ecus and causing all kinds of problems this has got a bit of a fail safe there you know it stops any of that nonsense brilliant there is limitations with this though um the booster pack that we've got this this big big old girl that is good for cars with problems so if you've got a, a flat battery on a car because somebody's been wanging it over trying to start it and it won't start you know for ages and the booster pack has got more longevity for long cranking this this unit you won't be able to continue to keep trying and trying and trying and trying it's got that 15 second delay on it so once you've connected it up you've got 15 seconds to try and start the car if it doesn't start within the 15 seconds, it'll cut it off. It won't go. You have to unplug it, plug it back in and faff about, which, you know, you shouldn't be doing that because it's going to overeat it. It, it. it hasn't got the longevity of crank on it. The wires are not as big. It is a smaller sort of capacity as far as longevity goes. It's good for a 1200 amp punch but you won't be able to continue to crank on this unit. It, it, it's no good for if you've got a faulty car and you're trying to start it up, you'd have to use something else. Um, this is more for if you've got a car that's good, that usually starts all the time, you've left your lights on, or you've got a battery that's gone faulty, this will start it up, no problem at all. Um, so it, it does have its limitations. If we have a really good close look down at these terminals in there, gold plated, gold plated terminals, gold plated terminals in there as well so um yeah really good connection uh, which is what it needs all the power is going through that again you can't get this the wrong way around it'll only fit one way but crocodile clips yeah really nice good spring good teeth the wire is fitted through a nice pin it doubles over, so you've got power to both sides of the clamp. It just looks really well made. It doesn't feel chintzy at all. It feels good quality stuff, which is what I've come to expect to these boys. You know, the top down stuff is good quality. Cracking bit of kit, 85 quid, and they're often in the sale. You see them less. Um, top down i'm well pleased with the stuff it is yeah good value good value and good kit feels nice good finish robust yeah impressive um if you've liked the video uh drop me a little thumbs up like subscribe i'll pop links in the description for the uh for the unit if you're interested um yeah can't recommend it enough what a cracking bit of kit see you in the next video